This is South Saber's TNT Weapon Series Episode 3. Today we finish off bombs and we take a look at some arms forts. So this is our line bomb from before. I've, for most of these bombs I've cut off sections that aren't required so you can take a look at just what is required. Um, it had a whole section of wool on the side there as a wall just to finish it off but that's not required so all of these w bombs here that you see um, they're down to pretty much their bare minimums so this was the line bomb uh, if you'll remember it goes a little something like this not a great deal of damage it's mostly centralized so it doesn't do such a great amount of block damage but does a lot of player damage due to the sheer amount of TNT in one area typically it'll get around 20,800 blocks um, or drop from these various heights uh, most of these will be from there'll be 18 blocks between the ground floor and the bottom floor of these and six of these comprise of 49 TNT per layer with eight layers making a total of 392 and the three on the end there all have different um, amounts of TNT so not so spectacular this one so we move on to the drill so for the previous one it has a TNT damage ratio of 53.06 that is for every block of TNT used it's caused 53.06 blocks to disappear and this was our drill bomb typical damage amount is 27,000 blocks for a ratio of 68.88. This will also get you to around about the deepest. The deepest you can get with these series of bombs. So if you want to get so if you want to go deep, this is the one to get. We'll move on to the the basic ones, all of them with the same amount of TNT. This one I call the slicer. Typical block damage amount is 33,600, with a ratio of 85.71. Again, goes reasonably deep and has quite a large hole compared to the drill. Well, slightly larger. Now we move on to the snake bomb. Similar concept to the drill, but this one sort of weaves its way along. Damage amount of 30,300, so larger than the drill, for a ratio of 77.3. So our next one is the wing bomb. This is moving up from the snake. A much larger hole than the snake, also larger than the slicer. 
36,000 blocks block damage for a ratio of 91.94 and here we have our final basic bomb this is the Vendetta bomb this one is the most destructive of the lot typically does 38,100 block damage for a ratio of 97.2 Now we move on to the cross bomb. This one has 56 per layer, 8 layers for a total of 448, and has the highest ratio in the game. Does 43,800 block damage with a ratio of 97.77, so it just edges out the better bomb. and probably creates the most spectacular hole. Next is the Mothership one. Uh, four layers, 176 in each. So a total of 704. This one... as you'd expect, does more block damage, but it doesn't have a higher ratio. So much larger spread, no, nowhere quite as deep, 52,400 typical block damage with a ratio of 77.43. And our final one was the Stealth Bomber, 125 in each layer, 6 layers, typical block damage of 57,200 ratio of 76.27. Quite similar to the mothership, except the damage is a lot more centralized and not quite spread out as much. Plus it goes a bit deeper due to having two extra layers. Now we'll take a look at the arm sports. And here we are with the first of the arms forts. This is the land one. It has 10 by 16 vertical launches on the top and on the bottom layer 11 by 17. Each of them fire three projectiles, so that's a total of 1,041 TNT being shot into the air. And it has four artillery style barrage weapons on the side. It's 31 by 8, and each of them fire 2, so there's 496 on either side. So let's fire these vertical sections off first. Alright, we'll fire that one and that one. Typically, it'll hit a target around this high, so just slightly taller than the walls on the side. And now we'll fire the sides. We'll get two going. That's one side, and the other side. It shelled this whole area. I'll set off the other two, and then I'll show you the sky one. Uh, 
I'll just hit all of them again. Obviously as I'm recording, it doesn't help with the lag. That's the other side. And this side as well. Hopefully I haven't damaged anything here. Nope. Okay, now this is our sky one. So, as a land one could fire and hit sort of barrage an area in front of it and above it. What this one does is it intercepts targets in the air and targets below it. So my standard drill bomb and mothership cross bombs all in the central area as well as the sort of air-to-air -air missiles on either side. So this will set off the cross well, the drill bombs. Fire off some missiles. grab the wrong save, but oh well. Normally it doesn't misfire like that. Uh, we'll set off the south side instead. and the west side just had a problem with it but also these ones set off the four mothership cross bombs so one there one there other one there uh, I'll just wait for that to settle down that one and let's set off some more cross bombs sorry um drill bombs I set off, so I'm just setting off all. So that's the damage from the cross. Uh, I'll water there so the drill wasn't so effective. But as you can see, quite deep in these areas. Set a tree on fire, always nice. And that covers the other areas. Um, and that pretty much covers it, the air fortress. Thanks for watching.